a lot of this is very context specific. It doesn't mean it's not real. Mm -hmm. um, groups form affiliations um, and bond sometimes because of external pressure mm -hmm. and sometimes because of internal choice. Um, there's nothing false about being proud of being part of a particular kind of community. Um, that's not inborn, right? I mean, if someone of African descent is raised in Russia, like Alexander Pushkin, who's one of the leading Russian poets, he was of African descent, um, he speaks Russian, uh, he writes Russian poetry. Is he Russian? Is he black? Is he going to be proud of being an African American? Is he going to be proud of being African? A lot of our sources of pride comes because of our multiple affiliations. You may be proud of being from Los Angeles after watching the NBA finals. Um, you know, we, we, are, we have multiple identities and a lot of those are choices. Some of them are identities that are put on us and we can choose either to try to accept them or reject them. Um, but I guess I just want us to hold on to these ideas loosely, not because they aren't real or they can't have real emotional impacts, but because they aren't always predetermined and predictable. Um, and I think we need to take responsibility for choosing our identities, even as we recognize the power of social categories to push us in one direction or another. Sometimes we want to go in that direction, sometimes we don't. Thank you.